What's going on my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple cool things. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to divide by decimals and the different versions that you can see of this and different ways that you can do it. So it's gonna be a nice and easy video. By the time you're done watching, I'm promising you you're gonna be feeling pretty confident about how to handle decimals. And it's a lot easier than you might think. So let's go ahead and get to it. And remember, if you like this video, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel and go ahead, please comment on it, like the video, everything you can do to support our channel so that we can keep pumping out these videos for free for you. We'd love to do it. So let's go ahead and get started here. So we're looking at two different problems here and I'm gonna solve both of them for you. The first one, 35.5 divided by five. Then the other one right above me, it's gonna be 42.75 divided by, ooh, 0.05. So if at this point you're feeling any sort of anxiety, any sort of nervousness, that's natural, don't worry, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to handle these. So let's get to it. So 35.50 divided by five. Here's the thing. Remember that this is the same exact thing as writing a fraction, 35.50 divided by five. They're the same thing. Now this is gonna come back later. I just wanted to refresh you that, again, division and fractions, they're the same but I'm gonna show you why that's gonna matter in a couple of moments. So in this case though, in this first one, this is the easier one. This is the one you wanna stick around for. But in this easier one, you can just go ahead and set up your long division nice and easy. So what I mean is, go ahead and set up five, going into 35.50. Just set it up just like that. Because when the thing, you know, when the numerator is all, the only one with the decimal, you're good. This decimal right here, that decimal right there, you really don't have to worry about it because if you don't have a decimal that's being divided by, you're good. You can just go ahead and place the decimal exactly where it was and divide as normal. That's it. If it's only the numerator that has a decimal, you're good. If the denominator is the one that has a decimal, that's the one we're gonna take care of. So in one moment, we'll get there, but let's go ahead and take care of this one first. So five goes into three zero times, so we can't do that. Five goes into 35 though, seven times. So we'll go ahead and subtract that 35, nice and easy. That's gonna be zero. Then you bring down that five, okay. Five goes into five, how many times? That's gonna be one. And then that's it, because it was a clean and you're good, so then there's nothing left to do. Right, that was pretty simple, nice and straightforward, and we're good. But it's this one right up here that a lot of people are always looking at like, what, right? But here's the thing, you already know how to do this. Remember that raising your score and getting the job you want isn't luck. There's a process that you go through and practicing effectively with us is the best way to go about it. And this Labor Day, you can go ahead and use that code to save 20% off your first month or even better, save 25% off of our year and lifetime discounts. You'll get access to features like getting real-time progress reports by texting us anytime 24-7 online courses with over 20,000 practice problems and step-by-step -step solutions, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. So if you wanna ace the ASVAB, go ahead and go to that link in the description or there. That way you can sign up, raise your score, save big, and get that job that you want. So let me go ahead and give you some nice tips and tricks. There's two ways to really think about this, and I think both of them are pretty understandable, but we have to understand where this comes from first, all right? So pay very close attention here. Let me move this over here not behind my logo because I like my logo. And so we're gonna go ahead and take care of bad boy right here. All right, let's think about it this way. When it comes to dividing by decimals, first off, nobody really likes decimals, but we gotta learn how to deal with them. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. 42.75 divided by 0 0.05. Okay, so we're dividing by decimal. We don't like this, but what can we do? Well, what we can do is get rid of the decimal. Just like when you're dealing with fractions and you wanna change the denominators, you absolutely can. You absolutely can. So my question is, how can we get rid of the decimal here? Well, remember this. Whatever you do to one side of the fraction, you do to the other. I meant to say equation, but either way, you get the point. Whatever you do to the numerator, you do to the denominator and vice versa. That includes multiplying and dividing whatever numbers you want. So what am I saying? What am I saying? Come on, Anderson, get to the point. What I'm saying is this, my party people. What I'm saying is you can just go ahead, if you're dealing with dividing by a decimal, man, just go ahead and do this. Move your decimal over one time, move your decimal over two times, and you're good. 42.75 divided by 0 0.05 is the exact same thing, the exact same thing as 4,275 divided by five. They're the exact same thing. 
Now, why is that though? You know, you might be looking at that and you might be saying, oh, cool, that's a great trick. But here's the thing, I don't want you to exit the video without understanding the why behind this. So with that said, here's how this works. Whenever you're moving a decimal to the right, what you're really doing is multiplying by 10. When you're moving a decimal to the left, you're dividing by 10. So for every time you divide, you move the decimal place one time over. And I'm sure you've heard, remember when you're converting uh, percents to decimals and decimals to percents? Move the decimal over. Same deal here. Same deal. Same deal. By moving the decimal twice over, that's the same thing as just divide, or multiplying by 100 on the top and the bottom. That's technically what we're doing. And so let me give you the shortcut version of it, the English version. Here's the thing. When you're dividing by decimals, you can cancel out decimals. Remember when you're multiplying decimals, you just go ahead and multiply as normal and then you bring the decimals back at the end? Yeah. When you're dividing, instead of adding the decimals together, you cancel the decimals and you can cancel as many decimals as you want. And so instead of looking at it like this, 0 0.05 divided into 42.75, and then under looking at this and saying, well, what am I doing with the decimals? Well, instead, you can look at it like this. 5 going into 4,275. It's the exact same thing. And it works just the same. Because over here, what would happen, right over there, what would end up happening is this, my party people. You would go ahead and say, hey, I'm going to move that twice to the right. And so I'll move this twice to the right. I'll cancel out the decimals. Remember, when you're multiplying decimals, you combine the decimal places. When you are dividing decimals, you cancel those decimal places out. And so that's exactly what I did there, turning 0 0.05 and 42.75 into a much, much easier problem. And that's the point of this. You want to give yourself every opportunity to succeed here by understanding how these rules work. Remember, I'm, I got to tell you straight, straight up face to face, even though you're on video here, I got to tell you this, fractions, decimals, negative numbers, big numbers, at the end of the day, they're just numbers. You have to learn the rules to deal with them because if not, if you keep avoiding it for the ASVAB, you're going to get your butt kicked. Because the thing is, every single problem on the ASVAB deals with numbers. And you're not guaranteed to always be dealing with clean, pretty numbers like 2 and 5 and 7. No, you're going to, you're going to have decimals. You're going to have fractions. You're going to have percents. And those are all just numbers. So I got to be real with you. You got to try it out. You have to learn it the right way. You have to build your confidence and then move forward with those word problems. If you try to do both at the same time, that's where that frustration and anxiety can come from. All right, so let's solve this. Let's go ahead and solve this. I'm gonna move this right over here behind my big old head, and then I'm gonna move this over here so we can try it out. So here we go. So five going into four, two, seven, five. All right, cool. Five goes into four, zero times, but five goes into 42, eight times. And then you just divide as normal. Look, you just divide as normal. Five goes into 27, five times. And I know I'm going a little fast here, but yeah, that's the point. You know, this is the same thing as just regular dividing as long as you know how to deal with those decimals. So five goes into 25, five times. And there's your answer, 500 or 855. I'm going to show you one more example here. Again, this is going to be super clean, super clean. Watch this. So let's go ahead and say we have something to the effect of, you know, let's go ahead and say we don't even have a decimal up top. Let's say we have, hmm. Let's say we have 343 and we're dividing that by 0 0.7. Let's just say we're dividing that, right? I'm going to show you how to take care of this even easier as well. Here's the thing. What did I say? Move the decimal places at the same time. What that looks like is right here. I can just move this over to the right. But then you might be saying, wait, well, hold up, coach. Uh, I don't see a decimal on the 343. Yeah, you do. It's right there. Remember, the same, you know, 343 is the same thing as 343.0. It's the same thing as 343.00. They're all the same. You know, there's always a decimal there. There's always those zeros there. And so you can write that zero there and you can just move the decimal place with it. Absolutely. There is no problem with that. That is a very legitimate move. You can do that. So instead of looking at it as 343 divided by 0.7, nah, it's going to be 3,000. 430 divided by 7. That's a lot easier to look at, a lot easier to deal with because you're not looking at the decimal anymore and you're good to go. So here we go. Let's go ahead. Let's get our work in. 
Let's go. So again, instead of looking at it as 0 0.7 going into 343, you can move that decimal over to the right one time, move that decimal to the right one time, turning it into again, seven going into 3,430. That's a lot easier to look at. So let's go. So seven going into that, what do we get? So seven goes into three zero times 34 though, that's gonna be four times. So minus 28, because four times seven is 28. I'm gonna move this over because my big old head's in the way. And that's gonna be six. Bring down that three, seven goes into 63. Oh, not nine. That's gonna be seven times. Oh, excuse me, that is nine. Excuse me, my bad. That is gonna be nine. And then we have 63 taken away. Get that zero, drop that zero, and boom. Your answer is 490, and you're all set. But at the end of the day, my party people, remember, these are just numbers. Fractions, decimals, percents, whole numbers, negative numbers, big numbers, small numbers, they're all just numbers. There are rules for dealing with each type when it comes to different operations, and that's cool. But you gotta know that those rules are there. They're not changing, they're not gonna change tomorrow or next week or next year, so you might as well get to it right now, that way you can give yourself the best opportunity to succeed. So at the end of the day, my party people, look, I'm glad I made this video for you, I'm always happy to help you out. So if you would like to go ahead and reach out to me if you have any questions, I'm more than happy. So here is my phone number. Let me go ahead and put my phone number right here. So there's my phone number right there. Please go ahead and text me if you have any questions. If you're already part of my ASVAB All Access program, then always reach out to me. Let me know when you have questions. I'm updating the courses and everything in the program on a weekly basis now. So let's go ahead, hit me up if you have any questions. If you're not in the program, come join. There's a link in the description of this video. That way you can learn more about how my program works, how it helps you raise your score, lower test anxiety, and get the job that you want. Again, I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach. I'm always proud to be so. I'll see you in the next video, and I really do hope you're having a good day. Cheers. And before you go, I want you to mark your calendars for the next free class. If you haven't been to one of my classes already, I'd love to have you in there and helping you raise your score. So all you have to do is text, hey, when's the next free class to our automated line, 833-321-0182, and you'll get a reply very quickly about the information for the next class, including the link. So my party people, I'll see you in the next free class. Sign up, show up, and let's ace the ASVAB.